Good evening, everybody. How are we doing tonight? I am doing a, doing pretty well. I'm looking forward to playing some Spyro, but real real quick, real quick, I, I did want so I did a little bit of I did a little bit of searching. I did a little bit of a little bit of googling, a little bit of finding things out uh, because I was I wasn't sure what to do. I gave it a couple more tries on my own uh, with the Spider Man uh, stuff. Fucking. So the first one, right, finding the Craven room or whatever, when, we, uh, when I saw that requirement, I was like, okay, I'm not so sure what the, what the deal is with this. But it's, it's really quite easy. You just had to, within a minute, grab the, fir the first level of stuff, and then I don't know if you remember the, the grate underneath that you could see. If you did it within the first minute, one of the walls is actually fake, and you can walk straight through it, and that's where the Craven room is. And then in there is the... Uh, uh, it, in there is where you can find the, uh, the collectible, and it's not so, it's not so hard to do. The other one, the one for getting 10,000 points, I looked up, I looked up to see if there was like, oh, maybe there's some sort of trick to it. Maybe, maybe it's just fucking, maybe, maybe there's like, if, if you go to one of the actual, one of the easier ones, it's actually like a secret because it'll actually be super fast. You know, if you, uh, when it spawns the second, uh, group of collectibles. No. No, the only video that I found, uh, completing that little, that challenge, that 10,000 points challenge, the literal only video I found was, uh, had, like, comments and stuff in Spanish, <laughs> and, and the only one that I, that I could confidently read and understand the meaning of said one word, tortura. <laughs> and after... After recording four hours of attempts at that fucking challenge and getting at most 8,000 points, I, I empathize with that person so goddamn much. Tortura indeed. Fucking holy shit. Trying to fucking zip line up to the ceiling after fucking, uh, crashing into the, gr a after like, oh my god. It is like the most precise, like you have maybe a frame. And I'm convinced that there are times where, uh, fucking one frame will be too soon and you won't pick up the item. And then the next frame will actually be the one that kills you. So like sometimes it feels like it's just impossible. I'm convinced that that's the case sometimes because the game runs at 30 FPS. There is a PC version, uh, I, I found out about, I didn't even, I, I guess not found out about. I kind of knew about it, but I but I played the PS One version, so that's the one I wanted to play. Uh, and the P and the play the PC version looks like it runs at a slightly higher frame rate, and I don't think it has stuff like physics attached to frame rate. But I mean, there's not much in the way of physics in that game at all. Uh, but yeah, fucking. So basically, I'm I've been trying to I've been trying to do this fucking challenge, and it's a pain in the dick. But so it's time for something a little bit, a little bit more chill. Hopefully, we're gonna be playing some Spyro today. Now, the only Spyro game I've ever actually played is the Game Boy Advance one, uh, and it was my brother's, so I didn't play a whole lot of it. Uh, I don't. I know that the console ones are a little bit different, and I know Spyro was like this beloved character, and everybody loved him, uh, at least until fucking Skylanders, I think it was called. And then it was like Spyro kind of got turned into a marketing thing, and he was like made edgier and cool. But like he was already he 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 was he was a cute dragon. He's a cute dragon. I like him. But he's but that's unfortunately not the uh, not the reality we live in. So, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get that uh, underway. I've never played one, so I'm kind of excited to play a Spyro game, you know, a proper one, one that isn't like a. One that isn't just me being like, oh, I can walk on a grid, and it's like puzzles mostly, if I recall correctly. I don't know, maybe we'll do that one one day, but not before this one. So let's switch over. It should actually... Oh, come on, there we go. Perfect. Universal Studios! Oh my gosh. Insomniac. I wonder what this green dude is. Hey yo. 
Oh, this is cute. Wow. Meow. Accessing memory cards. You're gonna be disappointed. Create file. Uh, new game. At least that, that sound effect sounded kind of familiar. Oh. In the world of dragons. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds. Or what the f- six, For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What the what fuck is this? this? Character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. Oh no. That's a good question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Vampire. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. Ugly? That's ugly. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. Looks like I've got some things to do. Looks like I've got some things to do. What? <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> the dragon just was like, nah, dude. You're ugly. Oh, okay. Rescued Nestor. Ugly! For releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. What do you mean that's all you can tell me? We're going after Nasty Nork. Oh, what's this? Can I... Hi, Spyro. Oh! Wait, replay dragon? Oh, he... he t what, what he tells me, essentially, I guess. Okay. Well, might as well save, I guess. Ooh, what the fuck? Okay, I'm just pushing random buttons, trying to figure out what 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 I can do. I have a sense of this guy. Oh, we rescued Delbin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro! You have much to learn first! Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you! Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean! What the fuck? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This, this, this beginning has me a little bit, um, confused. Or I guess not confused so much as, like just kind of like it seems like it just started like tutorial nah dude fucking just just play the game which is kind of nice but also like what <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck is this shit what are, what are these guys doing dark hollow okay no, no, no. We're gonna we're gonna rescue as many dragons and shit as we can. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, I guess that's an extra life. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the greens are worth two. That looks so we're in like a hub world of some sort. It seems. I guess we'll just try and save all the dragons in here. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Dude, what is this? <laughs> this is so... This is like really... I, I really do feel like it's just kind of... Like there's very little in the way of like introduction. Marco the Balloonist. If you prove your worth by rescuing 10 dragons, then you may use this balloon to fly into a new world. Okay. So 10 dragons uh, to get to a new world? That doesn't sound too bad. Oh, this is just fast as fuck. Okay, so I think I gotta be up here. Oh, I did not mean to... Oh, 
Oh, wait, come back. I need to kill you. Hello, Mr. Uh, fuck, what was his name? I forget the name of the dragonfly. The Sparks, I think. Ah, oh, damn. Can I... Oh, okay, so there is a, uh, there is a little route, I guess. I don't know what these crystals are used for, but I'm going to assume that they're, they're helpful in some way. And if they're... Actually, what if I pause? Okay, so it, this shows actually... Okay, so there, so there is like a completion percentage, basically. Oh, great. How am I going to get that? How are we going to do this? Come on. I think I, 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 I think I've got the right idea, and I'm just getting skill diffed. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. I'm just fucking bad. Platforming Gober. Okay. Ooh, here's another dragon. Tomas. Hey, Spyro. Hey, Spyro. Spyro. Twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers. Oh, that. Cool. So that's three out of four. So all we gotta do now is find, like, the last one, which is probably in here somewhere. I don't think that we have to come back later for... Got him. I don't think we have to come back later for, uh... a different... thing. Okay, I don't know what that is. Looks like it takes us up, maybe. Potentially. Oh yeah, it takes us up, and then I can g glide to get the others. Okay, okay. Doable, understandable. What the fuck is going on? Alright, so that's Town Square. I'm not worried about going to Town Square yet. No! Whoops. I look down a little bit. Got that one. Then I have to come back over here. I do think it's kind of funny how Spyro will like hit the wall and then he has to like. <clears throat> he kind of like trots along a little bit, like, oh. Okay. We're gonna find. We got. We gotta find. I think it's, uh. Is it over here? It is. Alright, so I see the last dragon. Now, I know that there are missable things. Or not missable, I guess. Um, what am I trying to think of? I don't know. Let's talk to this guy. Argus! What do you have to say, buddy? Cool, Flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal in the Dragon Mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Artisan lands, eh? Well, there's only four more crystals. Jewels, things, whatever they are. So... I kind of want to find those, save, and then figure out what's going on. Because this goes to Dark Hollow. I have a sense that falling in the water is going to be a bad thing. 
I don't, I don't know what it is. It's it's definitely not like my sixth sense or some other crazy shit. Hmm. Oh. Okay. One, two, and that's one hundred. So that's four dragons and a hundred of these. So, what's up, buddy? Yeah, let me save the game. Ah. Game surveyed. Let's check out what's up here, I guess. Because I think this is Town Square. Yeah. Entering Town Square. Yay! So, the guy said there was like, what, 1400? Well, actually, he, what, he, what he said was that he was confused. Alright, explain this one to me, Nils. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bull. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. The L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Ooh, okay. So blues are worth five. That's good to know. Oh, but there's more stuff down here. And... Okay. Oh, 2%? What the fuck? Oh well. So this one has 200... ...and 4 dragons. 200, 200 gems and 4 dragons. Okay. This isn't too bad. Collecting all of this stuff is surely, surely, right? Thirty-five. Hmm. Actually, this seems like the kind of level that that's gonna like loop in on itself. So. An extra life. Ooh. Okay, and there's no recovering from there. Wait, what? Oh, can I hold a maximum of five lives? Is that what it's what that is? It seems like it. Devlin. Thanks, Pyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Okay, never mind. That guy, that guy didn't have anything useful to share. Okay, got him. Got him. Did you know you get the longest glides if you start from the highest point? Like, no way, dude. Fire OP. I do think it's kind of funny that these, uh... Ooh. Okay, so that takes me back. Oh, look! 100! But we need... More. MORE! Alvar! 
Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief, and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run! Run! <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. I'm getting a little winded. He's literally me, dude. But how to get up onto this? There is surely a way to do that, right? if maybe there's not a way no maybe there's a way oh wait no whoops okay yeah so it seems it seems like I can't go back. If I want to do this level again, I have to return home and then... What if I, what if I just go right back in? Because this should take me to the front. You know, the, the, or the beginning, I should say. The beginning of the level. Definitely seems like there's a there's probably a way. I believe I believes it. Hmm. I guess I should stop trying to be fancy. This feels like I, I should be able to do that. This part right here feels... Feels... Very, it could also just be that there's that there's something I haven't picked up. But like getting some additional speed isn't helping. Alright, so there's something that comes from over there, so. Hold on, hold on. There's a I see a door. Oh, you see the door over there? Over yonder? I need to see if maybe there's a... A path. Oh, damn it. I feel like there's def definitely a path to it. To the door. And that, that door should lead me to all these bonuses. 
many of these things do I need to pick up? Because I have noticed now that there's like those little stars that go around my lives. Is that maybe what I need to do? I hear that guy going, nan and boo boo. Nan and a boo boo, nan and a boo boo. Oh, that is what I need to do. That's the guy with the dragon egg. Let's me get up over here. I'm gonna pick these up. Yeah. I can't I can't believe I just did that. I fucking dodged him. Hello, Thor. Thank you for releasing me. Thank you for releasing me. Oh, Spyro, that's too many dragons. So it looks like I need to get those those uh, star things into in a, in a giant ring around around a uh, Spyro's head. Yeah, and then this was the path. Dude, this is actually this is kind of interesting. I'm not gonna lie. I heard him laugh and I thought I saw him in the corner, but what happened to him? Okay, so he's back up there. So it seems like my what I have to do is like charge him down. Got him. What does this do? Dragon egg. What does the dragon egg do? Oh, so there's, it looks like there's one per level or something. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve eggs. Okay. But there's still eight, um... Eight crystals that I'm missing. So I guess we have to find those. New. I think it's funny that the dragonfly has like no lines or anything. Given the era this game came out, I would have 100% expected it to be like a side character.
But damn, where's... There's gotta be some, like, obvious thing that I'm missing. Some place off an edge or some shit. Spawn in. We run up this way. This is not a huge level either, so like, what the fuck? We come up here. There's nothing over the edge that I can see anyways. Anything here? No. Killing these chickens does nothing. Where, oh where, could anything be? Oh, can I get onto the roof or something? Hey, oh, I can fucking... I can roll? That's fucking sick, I didn't know that. What the fuck? No, nothing here. Nothing over here. Oh. Literally, literally right here. And that's... That's done it. Alright. Let's loop back. And this is... That's this level 100%ed. Nice. We found 95 more treasure, puts us at 300. It's not actually gonna do anything with the egg though, I guess. I wonder what the eggs are for. Cool, cool. Stone Hill. I do actually want to kill these guys and try to get another life, though. Come on. I needs this shit. Because as bad as I am at platforming... And this one... Yep, that did it. And that one puts another one at the top. Okay, cool. Actually, is there one of those, uh... There should definitely be one, right? Oh wait, no, this takes me to another world. So I'm still in world one right now. I don't know how many worlds there are. Okay, but this is definitely the uh, first. This is where I was. Alright, saved. Cool. So that's the first section. I think the very, very beginning is up this... Yeah, it's literally this thing. So this is the very middle. So I think this is probably the first actual, like, intended level. That'll be funny if I, like, I ended up doing the tutorial last or some shit. Not likely, I don't think. <clears throat> how long, how much is this one? 200 again. Cool. I'm not gonna lie, the dragon at the beginning, I think, lied to me. 
Because he said, oh, we have 1,400 treasure. Or was it 1,200? Or whatever the fuck. But it's like, dude. You should have more, way more than that. Especially if this is anything to go by, jeez. I don't know what it is. I've always felt like uh, rubies should be more valuable. Oh, so they, they, they're wiggling. Hello, Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. You think so? Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. <laughs> Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Oh, and now it actually... So because I've got the first egg, now it shows that I'm missing an egg on this level. So that confirms that there isn't one at all on the home thing. Which is good to know, I suppose. Like, I wasn't sure if maybe it would be, uh, maybe it, it just, I didn't see it, or, like, if it was hidden somewhere, that confirms that it's just not there. So, fuck yeah. Another life. Oh, and then this is the end, quote-unquote. So I guess we'll just make a mental note of where this is. Astor. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. <laughs> no thanks. See ya. That's kind of funny. It's like a little kid who's about to be told a story by grandpa and, and just really isn't that interested. Ooh. I found a, I found a place. This is cool. What the fuck? Got a little cave going. Ooh, a key. What is this? Well, that one's not marked. So if it's not marked, what does it do? So it's got, cause it's got, if it's not marked on this home screen, it's got to do something in the level, right? That's kind of the logic I'm working off of. Ooh. Kill you. We're just going to go ahead and, uh, grab all these. Nope. So we're just going to go ahead and collect this. That. Ooh, what's this? Cool. Are these wizards? They are wizards. One eyed, one horn flying purple people leader. Hey, douche nozzle. That. I think it's kind of funny how if you if you kill the uh, the, the sheep and, and shit, it's like it spawns these butterflies. I guess it makes uh, I, I guess it makes sense. I remember vaguely the butterflies existing in the Game Boy game as well. Hold on, I have this. I, I have gems most foul to collect, Mr. Dragon, sir. Gildas, Gildas. Hello, my friend. How about a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. 
triangle to drop down mid-flight. That sounds like it's deceptively useful. Interesting. Oh, invisible wall, got it. I'm gonna guess that this is like the invisible wall barrier. You can't actually see the fence, but like, you know the fence is between each of these. That's actually, uh, something about that kind of makes more sense to, it kind of makes sense. Maybe it's just because I'm a, I like magic. Ooh, come on, come on. Got him, fuck yes. That's the egg for the level. Hell yeah, dude. 9%. Okay. So it shows our percent, our total percentage completion. So it's kind of kind of like Looney Tunes in that way. Or I guess not Looney Tunes, uh, Bugs Bunny and Taz. I should probably play th uh, the first of those games. I didn't realize the Bugs Bunny and Taz was a sequel. Or at least it seems like a sequel. I still haven't like researched that specifically. It just kind of seems like one. This is cool. I like this game already. I'm not gonna lie. It's it seems it's 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 weird to me because it's like it's another one of these games. It's like it seems obviously for children, but it doesn't seem like it's. Uh, it, it's not as... What, what's the term? It doesn't feel as, like, simplistic as, like, the Looney Tunes game. Right? Like, B Bugs Bunny and Taz was a fun game. And was also, like, kind of comically easy. I think the only... Th the only thing that I would say was at all, like... Challenging was, like, if there was one thing left in the level and I didn't know where it was. this all of these I think that's everything here unless there's a uh, yeah, unless there's some hidden thing up on the top there Kind of an accident. Um, okay, well that's my own fault for standing there for too long. And not doing something. I think this turns off occasionally. That's interesting. Alright, let's pick this up. Oh, this is what the key goes to. And this should be a tenor, if I had to guess. Well, not a single tenor, but it's ten. And then this is the last dragon, Gavin. Watch the dragonfly, Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. Uh, sure. Okay, so the butterflies are useful. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and make a save. Uh, no. Continue. New. We go up. And that's this level complete by the looks of it. Um, shit. This way. And this way. Go home. Treasure found. 200.
Nice. Okay. That definitely felt like it was supposed to be the tutorial level. In a way that the other one didn't. Or I guess not that the other one didn't so much that this it just felt more like one. Okay, actually. Stone Hill, Town Square. So we know that there's one more thing over there. I'm gonna see if there's any other levels. Because there's that one that we did. This I think that was Stone Hill. This takes us to town uh Town Square. And then... So, Town Square. This is the boss. Toasty. Okay, so that's the boss. And then what was through here? This takes us to the next world, okay. So it looks like the structure, at least so far, is three levels, a boss, and then the world. Uh, the, 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 set, the path that takes you to the next world. So we're gonna do this one. Dark Hollow. Mmm, <clears throat> Dark Hollow. We have 500 treasure. So and there's 100 here and three dragons. So this is a slightly smaller level by the looks of it. Ooh. Okay, so we know that there's a key we have to find. These dudes obviously have to be charged through. I made that guess based on the treasure. Ooh, hello. You're a dick. I don't have a health bar or anything though, so... Getting stunned it seems to be the worst punishment. Unless they just, like, instantly kill me. Kill me. I wonder what that does. I feel like that's probably not gonna do anything. Darius, downright big Darius. enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged. But a quick flame that should defeat them. But a quick flame that should defeat them. Okay, so this is the thing that takes me home. That's the thing what takes me home, Dad Gummit. I do appreciate that um, picking up an extra life doesn't get rid of your progress towards the next extra life with the smaller pickups. I do, I do actually really appreciate that because that can, I, I it, it just, it's nice to not like feel like I'm wasting those other pickups or that those other pickups are a little are pointless because that does happen to me. Ooh, what's this? What's up, dude? Uh. 
I feel like I just did something that wasn't quite intentional. Actually, no, because he said big enemies can't be... Okay, big enemies can't be charged, but uh, the armor is what makes them invincible to flame. Which is really weird, because I think heating the metal up should, uh, should do the same thing, but oh well. Alright, so we know that. Is this the third dragon? It's not, it's the second. So, Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. What? Oh, your secret's safe with me. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Damn it, bonk. Okay, I guess I just have to... Yeah, that's the flower. How much am I missing? 82. And there's a dragon still. I think this will be the last eight. Why did I think it was last eight? That's ten. A quick flame will defeat them. Boink! Uh, this will be a, a green. These will finish that. And then we pick this up. Oh, bon. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Metal armor is fireproof, but a, ch <laughs> but a little charge will take care of them. Easy clap. I don't know why I'm going this way. I knew this was the wrong way. I don't know. I don't know what possessed me to think that was a good idea. And we'll just go back to our home. This was a fairly easy level. I think, even compared to some of the, even, even compared to like, none of these have been like hard so far, but it's world one. I 100% expect the challenge to climb. Yeah, and there was no egg in Dark Hollow. So I guess we'll just uh, go to the boss. We'll save the game, just in case. Toasty. Toasty! Confronting Toasty. Ooh. So there's 100 gems, and one normal dragon. Hey. Screw you, you don't get to just- you don't get to just do that. That's fucked up, man. Oh, I got squimched. Squimch.
Hell yeah. Ooh, I missed a pickup. Whatever, what would I have done if I forgot that? Get these done. Right, is that everything here? I think that's everything. This bell. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh. Oh wait. So the dogs are not even a threat really. I mean so far no enemy has really been a threat. Not the same way that they would be in other games. This is the side area. I say the side area, but like. How you doing, Oink? Grab these. There we go. Knock that out of the park. <clears throat> Hello, Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. Bring him on. Oh, barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Does he? This boss has many tricks up his sleeve. Fine. Sore for massage therapy. Well. Oh. What the fuck? Oh. I guess there's a certain number of the of hits that I can take. Fuck. Hey, you're a sheep? Fuck you mean? Do not get to just be a sheep and do that shit to me. What am I, 96? Oh, great. He's better. Okay. I guess that was toasty? Toasty! Oh, wait. Did he say 14,000? That would make more sense. I think, so at the beginning of the game, the dragon was talking about the amount of treasure they have. And for some reason, I think I heard 1,400. But... I'm pretty sure it's 14,000. Because that tracks a lot better with the 700 gems. And also makes more sense for the number of worlds that there would be. All right. Well, let's go. Let's go to the next world, I guess. New Marco the balloonist. Well done, Spyro. I didn't think you could do it. You may travel to the peacekeeper's world if you like. Well, let's go to the peacekeeper's world. Let's find out what the fuck's going on over there. Oh, man. So, there's 200 gems and three dragons and an egg in the home. Hello, Titan. Welcome to Peacekeeper, Spyro. Look how our treasure has been turned against us and stolen. We, cover we haven't run into any female dragons Collect yet. Treasure. Got it.
Ah, uh, you do not get to operate the cannon against me. That's fucked up, man. Ooh, what is all this? Is this... I don't know if that if the fucking creep is dangerous to touch or not. Ooh, wait, what the fuck? Okay, so that's Dark Canyon. burning down their homes. Cliff Town. It, it is kind of funny to me that these guys can like jump into the tent and cower in fear. Unfortunately for them, they have much needed gems and are stealing my treasure. My treasure? This is the one that takes us to the next one. Gosnold. Magic Crafter's world is far away and very dangerous. Maybe if you find 1,200 stolen treasure. Well, I do not have 1,200 yet. This is fine, though. That's a really interesting kind of treasure chest. And I'm worried that it's going to be involved in a much more difficult challenge later. Magnus! Hi, Spyro! Sparks the Dragonfly has been doing a good job protecting you. Make sure to keep him strong by feeding him lots of butterflies. Oh, maybe... Maybe Sparks is, like, an indicator of my health. Let me see. Yeah, that's right. Eat the butterfly. Alright, so now he's golden. And I think that's the max. Yeah, he's not chasing anybody. So let me go out of my way to get hit. I say after having murdered basically everybody. Whoops. Okay, so that requires a key. This is a doctor shop. Does this also require a key? No, this requires something else. There's no lock on this one. There's something... It has some other requirement to open it. Interesting. Interesting. And then this is the ice cavern. Ooh, there's still 90? I'm missing half? What the fuck? Okay. So that one I can still jump out of. But touching creep is definitely a bad idea at this point. I can see that there's stuff over there. So how do I get up to it? Oh, wait, but taking the hit actually did show that I, the guy lost a little bit of potency, I guess. Wait, what if I... There's no way, right? Oh, that's cool. Okay. So I can use the 
I can use the turrets to, well, do things in the world. Wait, uh, if that's the case, then I gotta go check out what the fuck that is. There's gotta be more stuff that I can do, right? Surely. Like this. Does this do anything? Can, can I knock it to the side or something? Doesn't seem like it. Those don't do anything. What about this one? Hmm. Oh, okay, I am able to push it. I just need to approach it from over here. And then I, and, and then it's a huge pain. But I can do like this. That's got a target drawn on it for a reason I don't know. Hey, look, I made a bridge. Took me, what, 10 seconds, 11 tops. And there's more stuff over here. Oh my god. Night flight. Why do I have the sense that's gonna be a really difficult level? This up. Dude, we are making some serious progress. I'm trying to be careful. I don't want to, like, die to stupid fucking whoops-a-daisies. Okay, let me go ahead and just... Ooh! Ooh, I got you instantly, bro. Instantly. You had no chance. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let's see. Hello. Grab those. We grab the key. Hello, Gunnar, Gunnar Simpson. Well done, Spyro! Keep up the good work, and I know you'll fulfill your destiny. Destiny? I just want to kick some- Just toast those enemies and collect the treasure! Yeah. Yeah, Spyro, shut the fuck up. Toast those enemies and collect the treasure. Quit thinking so damn hard. This should get me, get me to 195. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, so the dragonfly is, a, is blue now. And then he eats this. Becomes gold. Okay, so that's how we deal with uh, taking damage. Is we murder innocents. Got it. But I think if we take damage a couple times after... Okay, and then this one, I should be able to just push this... Push just slowly. Slowly. And by slowly, I mean fucking slowly. And that's that. That's 200. 
and the three dragons and the egg. So I'm gonna go make a quick save. So we'll save the game. And then we're just gonna go through the levels. Fuck it. Dude. This is... This game has some pretty interesting challenges and asks you to notice some pretty th some pretty cool stuff. So we're just hug hugging this wall, I guess. Dry Canyon, here we come. 900. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright, can we burn this? That's pretty funny that the cacti will just fucking shake off the ashes. Pick this up. Um, I heard, I heard somebody. Get fucked, idiot. You know, I don't think I've ever actually seen a speedrun of this game. At least not all the way through. But, like, I can... I can already see how this game would be a fuck... Would be a lot of fun to fucking speedrun. Just because you're doing this, like, through most of the level. You know on the off chance you're actually playing the level. Come here. Ah! What? What the fuck? He vanished. Boom. Okay, and you can just kill those guys anyways without, without that. All right, let's let's see what you, what you, what uh this guy Conan has to say. Thank you for releasing me. You're welcome. I guess I was a little bit I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of I kind of like when they have not like long interactions, but like when Spyro like responds to them. You only just finished your class. So your feet hurt so bad. Well, that's fine. We st we we're we're pretty much just getting started. This game is fucking awesome. We hundred percented the first world, and we're on the next one already. My guess is that there's six worlds, based on the percentage completion. Oh, Four hundred in this one. Holy shit! Okay, there's a wow. Cat. I love you, you're adorable, but you've got little knives attached to the end of your feet. And your little feeties are painful if you if you use those little knives. Okay? Oh! oh we, what we lived. Holy shit. How did we... How did we not die there? Ooh. Okay. Dragonfly is at green at green now, so I need to feed him some I need to feed him some dudes. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. I was <laughs> born to glide. Do you clip your cat's nails? I do. It's just been a, it's been a minute since the last time, and I keep telling myself I gotta do I gotta do it. But like, if I do, like what I I what I always have to do is, uh, fucking put on my sweater and like a pair of jeans, because they fucking hate getting their nails clipped, both of them. They're adorable and I love them, but they they do not understand the necessity of getting their nails clipped. 
Okay, so we're back to gold. That means we can take more hits. I like that I can still burn them if their shields are down. Like if they if they're if they're not blocking. Okay. I was born to glide. As a dragon, you kind of are, I would imagine. I keep watching fucking uh, Elden Ring speedruns lately. Or not even speedruns, like challenge runs. And it's been like... It's been making me want to... Uh, to play one myself. Not like necessarily stream it or anything, but just just making me want to play. I guess that's because uh fucking Shadow of the Erd Tree. Ooh, I fucked up. Whoo, that was close. The next, like, basically the DLC for uh, Elden Ring was announced a short while back now. No! Get it for me! Oh. Yeah, well, that's fine. We'll just go get it um, this way, I guess. I am a little bit nervous now that he's back at green. I would like I would like Sparks to be at uh, at gold, but my skill issues keep giving me keep keep giving me problems. All right, sir. So. Sweet. Going home now, I'll see you friends soon. We'll, we made brioche, chocolate, and strawberry tart, chocolate custard souffle, and profiteroles. Is that you, Spyro? Is that you, Spyro? You know, I've been hearing so much about ever since you're a wee puff of smoke. We've known. Uh... You've known? Ah, I forget. Ah, I forget. I fucking love. I, I, I. I think it's really funny that we've rescued 20 dragons and not a single one of them has been a, has been a, a girl dragon. You're a, a girl dragon. I mean, of course you're a girl dragon. Fucking <laughs> fucking donkey. What is this thing? Oh, that's explosives. Consume. Oh, whoops. Oh no. Um, my dragonfly buddy is gone. I done I done lost him. Oh, I'm I'm worried. I don't think I can actually make that, can I? Sausage fest. It really is. Either that or dragons just reproduce asexually and they only present male, I guess. I don't know. That one Spidey fan. What's up, man? How you doing? Uh, let's see. I can't, there's no point in going over to that other area anyways because I don't have the key. The key, because uh, the key will open that uh, the the one chest. Let's see, let's see. Anything going on over here? Should be more stuff. I haven't gotten everything this way. Grab all of this shiznit. Good. That's good to hear. Ooh, twenty-five. Grab 
having all of this all these gems dude Spidey fan, you aren't per perchance here because of the uh, fucking Spider-Man 2000 uh, fucking streams I did like yesterday and the day before, right? Because that fucking that that fucking game has some ridiculous requirements if you want to unlock the uh, the Peter Parker cost or not the Peter Parker. I think it's called Quick Change Spidey fucking uh, costume. Scoring 10,000 points in that fucking minigame is a damn nightmare. And like, I legit, so like last night, I, I decided, oh yeah, I'm gonna try, uh, I'll, I'll just throw on, I'll, I'll just start recording some attempts at it, you know? I wanna make a video about what, what makes, what define, what makes something difficult, you know? I wanted, wanted to talk a little, little bit about that. You know what is difficulty and man like I I could that is that game by itself has one of the best examples of just fucking like something that is ridiculously hard and it's entirely optional obviously it's just so fucking silly like I I, I tried it for like four hours or I guess three and a half hours. My brother tried for a half hour just because he, uh, I handed him the controller. And I was like, dude, I'm fucking losing my mind. You want to try this? And he said, sure, like an idiot. And then he sat there for half an hour doing exactly the same thing that I did. Oh, little bunnies. Okay. I need to eat the bunnies. Um, okay, I guess that's not the right way. Alright, so I already got the dragon. Or the, the, the egg, I suppose. I'm missing 59 gems and one dragon. I think I saw the dragon. I know for a fact I have to go back to that other side area a little bit. Because there's, like, that area that I can glide to that is a fucking minute away. By the looks of it. I gotta make sure I remember that. So I need to get up over there. That kind of means I need to get onto the wall here, right? I mean, maybe not necessarily. Let's give it a sh Let's just try it. Yeah, that's not enough. Hmm. I don't know. Ah! I fucking... I keep falling into the freaking creep. It's disgusting. Actually, is this No, that doesn't that doesn't help my cause at all. At least I don't think. I need to get up there somehow. I mean, maybe if I just try... Yeah, I like barely can't make it. It's weird. Right, I'm gonna just grab these. Goes to blue, and then to gold. Hmm. I'm wondering how I'm supposed to get to that other area. Where there's a will, there's a way. And I have a way. See, what I'd like is to get up on top of this, because if I can get on top of this, I can make it no problem. Which we 
camera didn't want to turn. But getting on top of that is itself an issue. Because that's where the key is, too. So once I grab the key, I can go back. If I have the key, I can go back to the to the other area with the chest. It's not. Where there's a will, du, 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 there's a way. Du, du. How to solve this children's puzzle. Alright, smart guy, you take a crack at it. And this doesn't do anything useful. That'll halt me in place. I'm curious what the point of this is. No, I'm doing the same thing over and over again. Let's readjust a little bit. What is this? I saw something up here. So there's something. I wonder what that is. It looks like it connects to the wall here. Maybe it's an easier route. Or maybe it's just the route to get to the fucking Okay, we're making some progress again, finally. There we go. Get these. Never mind. I mean, this is great and all. I, I feel like this has to be helpful somehow. It is! Oh my goodness! Holy shit. Flying around that corner is nuts. Hello, Maximus. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. <laughs> I love how he's like ruminating like flame broiled. Pinch of, with a pinch of salt, and it's like, dude. <laughs> Alright, so we got the key. That means we can go straight back. such an idiot. So, now we come back over here. This is the like, side area, alternate content dealio. And then I guess we just have to jump this fucking canyon. I think we do just have to jump it from the top here, right? Uh, oh my god, dude, that is so close. I'm trying to be real careful with it. Ooh, 
this was like actually surprising a little bit more than we normally would get. So that's that's 400. Holy shit, we did it. Okay, now we just have to get back without dying. Not hard. Nice, we fucking did it. Holy shit. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit stumped at first with that fucking... Uh, with the way that fucking... What's it called? The way I had to glide around that corner, I, I was legit a little bit lost there. But we fucking managed it. Hell yeah. Nice. 13 hunnit. So that's, uh, yep. Yeah, that's that one. Alright, I guess we just go continue along. Because we already finished the home area here. Nothing... Ah, oh, it was this one. Yes, hello. Cliff Town. Entering Cliff Town. Cliff Town. Play Town. New. Oh. Oh, uh, never mind. His his cloak is fireproof, which is kind of nuts. All right, another four hundred. There's an egg. But only three dragons. Got him. Ooh, is this... Oh, wait, what the fuck? I'm gonna cook some gems, maybe? Never mind. Okay, but I can't jump into it, so I guess that's good. You're so tired? I'm... F uh, I mean... I feel you. I can't relate right now because I woke up at, like, fucking 10 p.m. But that was for separate reasons. Hey, no. Oh, don't be an asshole to me. You don't get to do that. I didn't lose any health when she pushed me back. So that tells me that she doesn't do any damage. I think it's a- I think this is fantastic. This is like all of the positive stuff I was saying about like... Uh, the Looney Tunes games... Uh, the Looney- uh, the Bugs Bunny and Taz and uh... And fucking... Oh, come on! Got him. All the all the positive stuff I was saying about like Treasure Planet and Bugs Bunny and Taz, but like oh, see, he did damage to me. That was fucked up. But I think this is from '98, right? If I'm not mistaken. So this one would have been earlier than those games. You were in the kitchen for eight hours? Jesus Christ, Tara. I mean, you... You, you made a How's whole bunch a of shit. How's supposed to flame metal armor anyway? Oh, boy. Remember, Spyro. Flame won't harm metal. But charging with your horns, that should do the trick. Remember, Spyro. Flame won't hurt metal. But charging with your horns, that should do the trick. You winning? I am winning. I'm do I'm I'm actually I'm having a great fucking time. Are you winning, son? In a sense. Yeah, I think I need to get up onto those higher ones. 
It's another me! Remember to rebreathe, Mr. Spyro. God damn it. Hello, Mona. I think it's funny that we can get the, uh... That we can essentially cook a... a gem. I burned my hand on the oven taking the souffle out. I'm fine, but annoying. Ooh. Yeah, I've done that before. Oh, one time, so when, when I lived in Brazil, uh, I had a bunch of my friends over once for... just to hang out because I was, like, tired of... It, it was really weird, because, like, it was the one time in my life where I decided, you know what, I'm going to invite a bunch of friends over to my house, and we're going to have a little party. You know, just us. And, uh, and it was a, it was a good decision. Uh, you know, I had, uh, I think five or six friends over. You know? Uh, and we, I baked cookies because I was, because I enjoyed baking. Back, I, I still do, but, like, I haven't been, uh indulging as of late. Uh, but fucking, I baked cookies, and as I pulled the- I pulled them out of the oven, and I put them on the, uh... And I, I put- I put them on the- on the table, uh, or on the, on the countertop, rather. And, uh, fucking... When I did that, fucking... I, I forgot that it was hot, and I, I went to move it after the fact and burned my hands. Don't forget to reload, Mr. Freeman. Okay, so I need to find a cannon or something. What is the schedule for your stream? Uh, so, schedule... Initially today was supposed to be Spider-Man, but I beat that game much faster than anticipated. You know, and I didn't really want to just play through again, but on hard this time. Because I don't know that I could, that, that I, that that would, I don't think that would be very interesting to watch. Uh, and the zipline challenge was a huge pain in the dick, so I decided to move up Spyro one day. So it should be Spyro for today, t uh, tomorrow, and Friday. Or not Friday, what am I saying? Why don't you glide there and find uh, out? T t today, tomorrow, and uh, Saturday. Why don't you glide there and find out? Interesting. So that just got, takes me straight up. Phone says I did 8,000 steps in the kitchen. Jesus Christ. We are... we're missing a section. Oh, let me... Let me replay this one. What exactly did he say? It was Enzo. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? Why don't you glide there and find out? Okay, on the other side of the river? Oh my god, this is where the other section is? That's a hell of a way to let people know, like, hey, you can go across the river here. Because it did not look like there was something, a place that you could actually go. There we go. What is this? Is this a thing? No, that's, that's one of the invisible wall barriers. Mmm, roasted vulture. I wonder how vulture would taste. I can't imagine it's too different from something like chicken. You know, honestly, I, I do kind of want to try, like, uh, alligator and all those, like, weird meats. Not all of them, obviously. Dude, speaking of weird meats, have you, have, have you guys heard about the fucking 
nuts shit going down in Haiti. That shit is fucking insane. Ah yes, the bad dragon game. You shut your whore mouth. Spyro is a pure and innocent little dragon. And I won't have you slandering him with your whore mouth. Rescued Marco. You've reached the highest point in Clifftown. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that whirlwind there. I'd use that whirlwind there. Why is he a New Yorker? That is actually a good question. So this should take me back up to here. I remember Ripto's Rage. Do you? I don't know what Ripto's Rage is. Is that a level? Because I have not played this uh, this game before. So this is an all new experience for me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wormst. Hmm, so getting up on the roof. Oh, I guess it's these roofs as well. Get this. Ah, and then this. Okay, this is going to be separate, I think. Actually, it's not. Woo! So that's the... Ooh. 367. So I'm still missing 33. Currently lobotomizing an AI chatbot. I will cause Skynet, not because of technological powers, but because of schizo posting. <laughs> what the fuck? The brioche turned out great. Fuck yeah. Oh wait, I fucked up. I'm a silly billy. So this, we can get all the way across. It's fucking close though, holy shit. And then from here... Actually, I didn't need to go all the way over here. I didn't need to take the long jump again. Hmm. Was this the whole area? No way, right? Is a dragon can't fly. Look, man, he's he's a little he's a little he's he's a, a little special, okay? He glides, he glides real good. But 33 that I haven't picked up—that's concerning. Oh wait, can I get up? Onto there. Ah, here we go. Okay. So we're gonna go through this area. And that should be it. Because the purple one is 25. Four hundred. Looking at the, at the courthouse, they're moving all the furniture out, bringing, in, bringing it to the other place or donating it. Ew. Sweet. That's another level 100% Ed. Fuck yes. Because that's all of the dragons, all of the jewelry, and the dragon egg.
Nice. Alright, let's see, so... Yeah, I guess we keep going around. Bring it around town! Bring it around town! Confronting Dr. Shemp. Oh, wait, this is the boss. Whoopsies. Ah, I'm all fucked up. Alright, let's see. Well, I'm not actually that concerned about confronting the boss this time. Because the first boss turned out to be really easy. Which is kind of funny, but also... But also this... This, these bitches is killing and killing their men's. Oh my god. I hope all of that goes to a charitable foundation. J Jeremy Thatcher, Egg Thatcher was a fever dream. What the fuck? What is you talking about? These guys are so desperate to get to be rid of their own lives. Oh my god. It was a GameCube game. Also had a feeling pop out today. No bueno. Jesus Christ. That sounds like it would be painful. Wow! No, no, no. There's definitely something up with this. I have decided. Okay, so there's this. But there's no way this is it by itself, right? I can glide somewhere from here? I can! Oh my god, that was close. I almost fucked that all the way up. Come on, grab it. Am I tired or are you guys not making sense? Uh, Doc is not making sense. He's, he's, frankly, he'd be lucky if he was making, uh, sense. I think the best he can do right now is dollars. Ooh, this music. Is there anywhere else I can jump to from here? Let's see, let's see. Can I get on top of this? Okay. Yes, but like, pointlessly. Okay, it looks like this connects somewhere else. I don't think it's important that I glide all the way there from this one. I suppose we'll find out. Because it could very well be that that is a thing that we need to watch out for, but I don't think so. Oh, I'm dead. There goes a life! Flower or the butterfly. Okay. Maybe I do actually have to glide all the way to the other one because I didn't see an immediate path there from here. Get a cl get flattened, idiot. Shut up. Maybe I just have to go all the way to this. It seems like. At the very least, it, it seems like this is. Okay, no, it was this. It was just this. Got it. 
I'm eating strawberry and chocolate because some extra wouldn't fit in the fridge, so I am simply being economical. Yes, economical. Alright, let's see. Hello, Trundu. A lot of these names are Nordic. This guy thinks he's so cool. You don't know what it's been like listening to him over and over. But I'll tell you one thing. He should watch his back. He should watch his back. No way. Oh, got him. Oh man, he's, his ass is on fire. This guy thinks he's so cool. Okay. See, this one's easy though. I say as I fuck it up. Get fucked, idiot. Did Spyro talk to Sheila yet? I like her, but her accent is horrible. I haven't talked to anybody, but I haven't... Is Sheila a female dragon? Not a single one of the dragons I've rescued has been female. It's, it's kind of funny. Fucking Sheila. I make good sweet pie crust. Okay, so I got murdered. Okay, that one's not too hard to, to dodge. This guy is a silly Billy. Ragnarok plays scaly bait more at 1 p.m. or 1 a.m. <laughs> Look, man, I'll do I'll do more than just play scaly bait, okay? Well, I got him. Third time's the charm. Sheila is a female kangaroo. Does she have like a hilariously bad and offensive accent? That would be so funny. I mean, like you said, her accent is bad, but like, is it like offensively bad though? This should get us a, uh, the 25 needed. It does indeed. Ooh, there we go. All right. Well, that's th that's this level. Never mind, she's not in this one. Well, that's a little bit of a shame. I vaguely remember Sheila existing in the Game Boy Advance version, I think. I never beat- I don't think I ever beat that one. Returning home with the 300 treasure. She does have a bad accent, I can't remember if it's offensive. <laughs> uh, that's funny. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect Dr. Shemp to be the way he was. Night club. I have a, I have a feeling this is going to be like a tough level for me. Because I feel like it's going to be a lot of gliding and I'm really bad. DS looking ass, it's a kid's game. I mean, yeah. Oh god, what the fuck is this? Oh god. Oh god. She's in Year of the Dragon. Okay, so she's in the sequel. Oh god.
Okay, did I do it? Is that all it? Is that all there is? I think that's it. Lights. Oh, so I've got to get them all. Okay. Alright. So first it's this. Then it's the treasure chests. Okay. Okay. So we have to get them all in a single run. Close. We have some time to play with if we need it. This is pretty cool though. Oh god, that's so close. Okay, that's this. But where are the lights? Oh wait, do I... Okay. Okay. So that, I, I, I... They're literally just lighthouses that I have to light up. I like Spyro, he's stupid, but he tried. Uh, Spyro is a, is a fun character, I think. Okay. That. Alright, we're kicking ass. We got it for sure this time, right guys? Right? Like, I'm, I'm surely I won't embarrass myself. Now that I know what I'm looking for with the, uh, with the lighthouses, surely that can't happen again, right? Better controls than Tomb Raider. That is a bold claim. Especially because the flying controls are identical to Tomb Raider's swimming controls. With the only exception... Oh please, 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 please. Oh my god, I can't- I literally can't turn hard enough to get that one at this point. Oh, it's so tough! Oh, I knew this was gonna be the hard one. I hope there's not too many of these. This is- this is ridiculous. Go left? What do you mean? Please. Um. So I am capable of just flop. Well, this is gonna. Be that's made this significantly tighter than it probably was going to be before. Like, I legit don't know if I can actually do it now. Whoops. It's gonna be so close. Oh, I missed one! I don't know where it is! Oh, fuck. I have tea and I am in bed. I am not getting out of bed for anyone. Not even Leon Kennedy and his abs. Not even Elvira can get me out of the comfort comfy zone. Hmm. Sounds to me like you're very comfy. It's behind the castle you flew past. Uh. 
It would be a shame if you need to use the bathroom. <laughs> it would be a shame. we go. New record. Uh, no, I'm not going to try again. That should be all 300. And I think it's just 300 treasure in this one, right? I am very t comfy to the point of refusing goth titties. That's very, very comfy. I don't know if I could, I, I don't know if I'm capable of being that comfy that I would refuse goth titties. That just, well, to me, that's like blasphemy. Okay, so then there was nothing in here. So I think it's time to move on to the next world. <coughs> All right. I think what I'm actually gonna do is we'll go to the next world and I'll clear out the home and I think I'll call it there nice job Spyro one day you might become a real dragon hop aboard for the magic crafters world if you're ready I'm fond of the Spyro mini games bacon brie lettuce avocado mozzarella onion wrap today that sounds tasty the mini games like the flying? I mean, it wasn't that bad, all things considered. I'm just terrible at, at the game. But I don't know that I would call myself fond of the game. Uh, uh, of the mini game. Okay. Oh shit, there's two eggs here? Yeah. Cosmos. Welcome to Magic Crafters. I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. And to recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. I don't know, the, the fact that that dragon talks that way kind of immediately makes me think that uh, Norktis or whatever his name is uh, had a point. Got him. I'm fond of the mini games in in the same in the memories sense, you know. Oh, fair enough. That makes sense. If, if I mean, like having some nostalgia for for the the games, I totally get. Gay dragons. They probably when you are. You see arrows like these. You can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge. Excellent. Go ahead, try it. Go ahead, try it. Oh boy, a supercharge. Why do I get the feeling... Okay, so there's 300 here. I get the feeling that I can hold this supercharge all the way. Hello, dragon. Bulldog. This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. <laughs> learn to fly. Got it. Crystal flight. Oh, God. 
So it seems like there's gonna be a flight level in every, uh, every section now. Oh gosh. That's gonna be, that's gonna be, uh, a little bit... That's gonna be a little bit, uh, tough, I think. Because I'm, I'm not so great at them, obviously. These dudes are out here, like, casting like it's fucking, um... Like they're fucking Snape trying to dispel the... Harry's broomstick. They're just like, uh, not even paying attention to me. These dragons get free and the first thing they do is fucking schizo post at you and fuck off. Dude, for real. Ooh, hello. I have a nook almost foul. And this is not the one that takes it. Huh. No, you know what I probably have to do? I probably have to go all the way across here. No, there's no way, right? There's no way that's the intent. No, 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 no. That's way too far. The other one was far. This is, that's just like comical. He fucking, he was like giggling all the way until he died. It's like the fucking Joker. We live in a society ass. Ow. Boink. Alright, alright. Getting these guys taken care of, care of. Alpine Ridge. Sparks and Spyro are cute besties like Kirby and Bandana D. I was actually kind of curious because like, so the, the beginning of this game is so quick. Like, you, you basically get like, a short thing saying like, oh, all the dragons got turned into crystals. And then after that, you're just, it, it's, like, there's no formal tutorial, right? Which is great, but the game just kind of goes from that point. And I was, I was a little bit like, oh shit, the game's already started? This guy's being a dickhead. Sparkus can and Spyro's bestie. It's very cute. Yeah, because they, they didn't introduce Sparks at all, in, in, except for like, uh, except for fucking one of the older dragons telling Spyro, "Hey, you should watch your uh, your dragonfly fr uh, friends like status, you know, and feed him butterflies to make sure he's strong." And it was one of those, like, yes, but what the fuck? Oh, no. And they also don't explain what... That he is your health bar, really. Is Spyro's personality like... Like, uh... It's like Sonic, except fixed? What? <laughs> Fucking... Sonic if he got with Amy Rose <laughs> like she could she fixed him Let's see right, right, right. Need to have I need my buddy Okay, and I'm pretty sure this 
This looks intentional. Okay, but uh, it doesn't matter if it's intentional if I get skill diffed by the gap. It's really funny that you can like farm lives if that's something that you really want to do. Sonic if he got his balls cut off at the vet. Jesus. I hope not. Okay, but that definitely seems like the right... I'm getting skill diffed by the gap, gap I'm pretty sure. It seems like there's something over there. do it from up here. That's way easier. Can I have the key? Sweet. Ooh, that's only 10. is not important. Hmm. In Year of the Dragon, the cutscene is longer and explains things a bit more. I mean, that would make sense, I guess. It is the sequel, so they would probably put a little bit more effort into the world building than they did before. I still think it's absolutely hilarious that there are no female dragons so far. It's fucking silly. We're missing 25. Colors in this game are super pretty, but because the game is old, sometimes the colors look like cloud vomit. You think so? I haven't, I haven't had that clown vomit feeling. But I guess I kind of reserve clown vomit for a very specific kind of coloration, I suppose. The only part of it that could really be like clown vomity would be is just the fact that you, the color purple is a little bit more 100% ass eggs. Probably. Is this a Smurf situation where there's 99 males and one female? I don't want to think about Smurf society, I'm not gonna lie. Questioning Smurf society feels like it's a one-way ticket to... Okay, but that definitely seems like it's gotta be something. So... I'm gonna make the decision to make an attempt at it. Because this also has to be something. Let's fucking go, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, that didn't work. Hmm. You know, I was just gonna do this and, like... And call it good there. Gay Smurfs, gay Smurfs, gay Smurfs, now you have it in your head. Fuck you. 
Oh, gay Smurfs. Have you seen the Black Smurf panel? I- what? Black Smurf panel? What are you talking about? Push this. Hmm. I'm not sure how I'm. I think that that chest might have the last 25, but I'm not sure how. this is gonna work. What the fuck? It's a real thing, the black smurfs were evil and the panel said run or we'll all turn back black. It's from the 60s? Jesus Christ. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, this doesn't seem- this doesn't feel right. Oh, or I can just not be able to turn around, I guess. How, oh how, do I do that? Maybe I need to get it- get like a melee dude to... Come on, you met me. doesn't seem like that's the case because he doesn't they don't tend to move from their positions straight to the beast makers no 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 I just want I just want so this guy is just fucking with this thing makes it easier to get it back across so I destroyed these by These I, I destroyed in the past by having a cannon. But I don't have a cannon. There's something in here. Okay, this definitely feels like something that's supposed to have a of an elevator up. Or not? Maybe there was something in here already and I picked it up. What the fuck? I am so confused.
Is it moving? It feels like it it's moving a little bit. Happy music, happy beats. It is happy music. I don't think it's moving at all. What the fuck? Hmm. Well, I suppose this will have to be a mystery for next time, because I don't have a, I don't have a way to destroy it. So, yeah. I think this strafing is kind of funny. But yeah, anyways, fucking, I guess, uh... I guess that's where we end it for the night. We'll figure something out with it tomorrow. Uh, we're at like a little under 30%, so I think that this should be plenty for uh, the three streams we have remaining. You know, I'm probably, I'm gonna try to get to like 70% next stream, if at all possible. And then after that is gonna be, uh, after that I'll, I'll try to finish it off. You know, it took me like th two and a half hours to get this far, so yeah. Metroidvania moment. There is a chance that there's something that I need to pick up and, and come back for, or like to change the level in some way. We'll see. But yeah, so I hope uh, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Evening, morning, whatever the fuck it is for you. Uh, I guess uh, I'm going to hop off, I'm going to... I'm gonna try working on this. Uh, I want to. I want to talk a little bit about Resident Evil in a video. So I'm gonna try and put something together for that. Because uh, Resident Evil is a, it was a surprising experience to me. I'm very. Uh, I don't know, jaded, <laughs> especially with zombies. Matasta, matasta. I'll. Talk to you guys tomorrow. We'll play some more Spyro, hang out a bit more, get some more completion on this game. I I do appreciate these kinds of games that give me like a percentage that and uh, and tell me how much of the game I have completed. Especially if I can make a save that sh that has all of that stuff. I re I really I really like that. That's one of the things that um I think uh, is good uh, that I like about achievements. It's like, okay, I've gone and I've done pretty much everything this game has to offer. You know, and there's... And I know that I haven't missed anything. And I know there are people who are, who talk about, like, oh, but, like, you can just miss stuff and then come back and do that stuff later. It's like, no, you're missing the point. If I do a playthrough and I have one that's good, then I want to do... Uh, and, and I, and I want 100% the game, then I will go through and finish it. But, yeah. Hope you guys have a good one. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.